information technology, engineering and environmental education tools, ITE3 for short, is a program implemented at the University of California San Diego, now in its second year, aimed at helping bring information technology into middle school classrooms specifically targeted at gathering environmental data. The goal is to get students interested in so-called STEM careers, that's science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The program does this by providing new and innovative technology tools to classrooms and educating middle school teachers on how to use those tools to help foster their students' interest in science and engineering. What the program does is work with middle school teachers because they can uh, reach many more of the middle school students over many generations to get them excited and comfortable with working with environmental sensors and information technology. UC San Diego's ITE3 is part of a nationwide program called iTest, Innovative Technology Experiences for Students and Teachers. Funded by the National Science Foundation through a $115 million federal grant, the National iTest program is able to reach more than 130,000 students grades 6 through 12, 4,300 teachers, and 1,700 parents and caregivers nationwide. Everything's melting, the kids are happy, they're happy. And they're learning to use the temperature probe, it's really nice. We give them all the equipment that we think they'll need to really understand what they've got and to learn it well enough so that when we offer them the loaner supplies, they can they'll already know how to use everything well. So they get to keep uh, the LabQuest unit, which is what you need to interface with the computer and with the sensors. And then we offer them five sensors that we attach to the um, LabQuest unit. We've chosen, pre-chosen the sensors because our focus is on the environment. So we give them temperature, pH, um, UV sensor, dissolved oxygen sensor, nitrate sensor, so they can use that for sensing pollution or water quality. I guess this week is about a number of things. Um, one part is uh, learning how to use this new tool in the classroom. Um, and then the other part of it is just to uh, be able to interact with other t teachers and kind of uh, ex have different experiences. And that's like one thing that teachers don't get a, a lot of opportunities to do is just to go out meet with other teachers and have new experiences. Well, as you can see, being an older dog, I don't particularly like new tricks. I came here to learn new tricks. And the new tricks here every day is a learning experience. And you get help from your peers, you get help from the instructor. And I'm just learning a lot of new tricks, and that's what I need to do, to challenge the students. They're used to new tricks. They're used to video games. They're very complex nature, football games, et cetera. You need new tricks. In fact, as a way to get kids interested in science, the ITE3 program this year decided to design and implement a 3D video game taking place in remote locations like Antarctica. Students are asked to gather data virtually and come to conclusions about the results. A unique feature of the game is its ability to record students' virtual choices and actions. Educators can then use this data to study the students' collective learning and make decisions about future game development. So we've set up a virtual world that's Antarctica and we have avatars and the girls control the avatars and we set missions for them and right now they, the first mission is to do UV sensing, figure out where UV rays are most intense in Antarctica and we'll be adding a lot more missions testing for where's a healthy spot for penguins to live, testing where the melt from Antarctica um, reaches ocean water. The reason that we're focusing on middle school particularly is we know that there's research that says that that's the age where um, girls and underrepresented minorities decide they're not interested in science. When I was growing up, my science experience wasn't that great, and we also didn't have a lot of hands-on things like we're doing right here, so I think that the more hands-on, the more equipment that we bring into the classroom, it's really going to pique an interest, hopefully, in obviously um, males and females, but hopefully, you know, I mean, me being a science teacher also, they'll see, oh, okay, my teacher is female, and she's teaching me, so maybe, you know, I could also do this when I'm older. I like the idea that it was going to be a whole year because then that way I get a chance to acclimate to using the equipment because I'm really, although I'm excited about it, I'm also a little afraid because I don't know what I'm doing. And so I, it, knowing that I'd be there with other teachers and that they were going to bring um, some individuals in from the engineering school in order to help us in the classroom, I was like, okay, I've got a little safety cushion here, this is great.
Undergraduate students from UCSD's Teams in Engineering Service program, or TIES, are on hand to help provide support and assistance to teachers during the workshop, in addition to serving as role models for the middle school students. I was very pleased with how the program went this year, uh, both on the part of the, um, the, the teachers and the lessons they developed during the week and the interaction that they've had between themselves. Looking to the future, we hope to get many more teachers from San Diego County involved.